time as well. And blessed. And uh, may God bless all of you. Thank you for watching the video. And I would ask you to please, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And um, please share it. Okay? Very important. Choices. The word choices. It brings me to my weekly recap where there is a specific case, a specific client that I want to discuss. This client saw me maybe six months ago, maybe a bit less, a bit more. The exact timing is not important. What is important is we had a, a session in my office. It was a consultation where she had come to see me because things were not going right. She was a spiritual, spiritual person. And she felt something was very, very off. I confirmed it. I discussed uh, particular details and specific what she was going through, what she had. Uh, she had an entity that, uh, that had possessed her. And uh, she knew it deep down. And said, so when you're going to book your, your appointment to get this taken care of, because I need to properly uh, prepare. I wasn't going to do it on the spot. Okay, I'll get back to you as soon as I'm ready. And I'm thinking, what do you mean when you're ready? It's got, to be, it's got to be done. The longer this thing is there, the more damage it's going to cause. Emotionally, physically, psychologically. Okay? Etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Spiritually. Fast forward now, whatever it is, about six months. She finally gets back to me. And I had touched base with her a couple of times in between. Hey, are you making an appointment? This is, this is a dangerous situation. I'm not sure. I have to think about. You know, I'm thinking to myself, well, what is it you need to think about? It's not like... The price is exorbitant and uh, crazy and you can't afford it, okay? Not even close. The opposite. It's actually dirt cheap compared to the service that's being offered. So what do you have to think about? And I understand it comes down to choices. Not everyone is willing to accept and wanting to accept that they're possessed, that there is an entity that got in there. Because very often um, it makes people question everything that's going on. Uh, it makes them feel weak. It makes them feel ashamed. Everyone is different, okay? But it happens to many, many, many people and even some very, very holy people and even saints ended up getting possessed and many who weren't possessed were still attacked by, uh, by demons and evil entities, unclean spirits as we call them, okay? Dibukim as we say in Hebrew. And Shedim, demons. For whatever reason, she waited and waited, maybe hoping things would get better so that she could maybe pretend that there wasn't anything there. And she finally contacted me again and said, look, I need an appointment. I, uh, I tried to brush this off, but uh, things have gotten worse and, uh, and it's time. Now, the damage is probably a lot worse. I'm going to be seeing her soon, okay? And I will help her. But that extra six months, give or take, that that demon's been inside her. God only knows the additional damage that's been done physically psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. I know she said physically she's gotten a lot worse. Well, obviously, okay? Someone who has a disease, the longer it's there without them trying to, uh, to cure it, the worse the situation is going to get. It's normal, okay? It all comes down to choices. We have free choice and we have free will. And um, this is really, really what it, what it comes down to. What are we going to choose to do? And it brings me actually to the most important and main topic of this video, which is still about choices. But I used the recap of my week to bring us to this point. Now is the time to make your choice. Will you stand with God? Will you stand with the laws of God and the word of God? Will you stand with righteousness now is the time now is the time to decide it's very 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 important will you stand with kindness will you stand with morality or will you stand with devil the devil evil and the current world are you willing to make a choice to sacrifice yourself to do what is right be what is right, and if need be, stand alone against evil? Or are you willing to just go with the flow, go along with the majority, 
go along with those in power. Because the final battle is fast approaching. And even some of the biggest capitalists right now in the world are indeed coming out and saying the same thing. We've arrived. The time is now. If you haven't yet made that choice, make it. And if you made the wrong choice, there is still a little bit of time to reverse that choice and go back to God. Go back to God, develop a relationship with him. God Almighty, directly God. There's no intermediary. Okay? Go back to righteousness, kindness, and morality. Now is the time. The time is running out. It will soon be too late. So please, make your choice. Make it quick. Be ready to sacrifice everything. Okay? As that man behind me, Jesus, once said, even if you shall be tortured and even if you shall be killed, do not deny the Father. Do not deny God, the Father, the creator of all. Do not deny him. Do not deny his name. Be ready to be sacrificed as I have been sacrificed. And he stood alone once upon a time too. Did he not? Of course he did. So now's the time to be willing to stand for what is right and just and kind and moral. Because if you make the wrong choice now, it will be too late for this world and the world to come. And as that man also said, Jesus, as he also said, the Messiah will come like a thief in the night. What does that mean, like a thief in the night? Well, as you're sleeping, a thief will rob your house and you'll wake up and you won't even know he was there. Unless you have an alarm system or a dog, obviously. Otherwise, you'll wake up and things in your house will be missing. It'll just come out of nowhere. Why did he use that metaphor? What he was trying to tell you is that if you wait until tomorrow, it may be too late. You may wake up and the Messiah will already be here and then it will be too late to make your choice. Please make your choice now and make sure it's the right choice because you are running out of time. May God bless you. God Almighty, Hashem HaKadosh, Baruch Hu, Melech HaOlam, Melech Yisroel, Ribono, Shevalam, Adonai, Hawaiya, Ehiye. May the creator of everything that ever was, is and ever will be give you the strength and the blessing to make the right choice and go back to him. Jared out.